Welcome back to the Fuller Fanatics channel. Today, I'm sharing a special project of mine that's been under wraps for a little while. First, I must take a moment to thank fellow YouTuber Metal Complex for featuring my channel on his channel's timeline. I need my subscribers to storm his channel and subscribe. In addition, flood his comments with thank you emojis from the Fuller Fanatic. Now, getting to this project, I call this beauty my Hinderer XM18 3.2 High. And of course, it's a play on words for its original model name, the XM18 3.5. The 3.5 referring to the blade length. This blade has been modded and shortened to three and a quarter inches, a size not currently offered in the XM lineup. I've yet to post an overview of an XM18, so I'll go over some of the specs as well as the changes I've made thus far. Coming in with an original factory length of eight and a quarter inches, this XM started out as a void blade shape with the blued working finish on the tie scale and a blue G10 show side scale. Long story short, thinking you can build a hinderer up like a Lego set, which for majority of the build, that's a true statement. But for the part that is the only reason I like that idea, the blade, that just isn't the case. And after finding out I can't just order a deleted tab, fuller and thumb stud bearing Sponto blade and just pop it in, I decided to just make one. Inspired by the Ritter hole grip and a sprinkle of Sabenza, I came up with this blade shape. Even though the edge is beveled, I actually reduced the blade's bevel and flats, leaving a full flat ground drop point. In addition, I removed two of the jimps on the blade's spine, and the buoy blade shape has a rise at the tip, similar to a Persian style blade, but just not as dramatic, which in my opinion, didn't fit the drop point, hence the start of the blade removal. After which, I simply decided on three and a quarter inches, no real method to my madness. And excluding the spine side, the reprofiling of the blade was entirely done by hand. And this was the first run of the buoy in 20 CV and it definitely wasn't easy working the steel down. I gave the blade an acid bath, followed with an intensive stone washing that left the 20 CV a drab gray and a very unique texturized finish. Wanting to add another level of depth to the blade, I had this pattern laser engraved, which was definitely deep level, meaning a multitude of passes that gives depth to the pattern, but I didn't want to produce drag, so I didn't go overboard. If you're familiar with XM18s, they have a hooked flipper tab that some complain about, and I can see why. Even though this wasn't an issue for me, I do prefer a softer, rounder tab. So I deleted the hook and the outer edges of two jimps, producing a much more inviting deployment. The tab can still grip the index finger, holding its own position and preventing slipping. The hook tab's main function, in my opinion, so it works for me. The show side scale, I swapped out for a micarta scale that I stained dark gray and I definitely have something more fitting on its way, but I won't ruin that presentation right now. The lock side though, is completed as it stands here. I did a full mirror polish to the entire lock side down to the over travel stop and lock bar insert screw. And next, I bead blasted the tie scale, leaving this two-tone silver over gray look. The original weight of the hinderer was 5.6 ounces, and currently, this one tips the scales at 4.8 ounces. But once I replace some parts, I hope to be around 4.5 or a little less. So let me know your thoughts on my Hinderer XM18 3.25 and hit the like button if you enjoyed the upload. Share this video and sub to the channel for more content. And with that, I'm signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.